So sorry for the breaking transmission. Um, it may be challenging. I'm not in a very convenient place and I'm trying to see if I can still get this done today. Um, I will try as much as possible to see how to ensure that at the end of the day I'm able to still do this despite some of the constraints I'm having. All right, I was talking about the fact that Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars, and I was talking about the importance of sesame seed as a major foreign exchange earner that Nigerian state can explore. And I'll talk about the $2.2 billion sesame seed market, which is almost $3 billion when you add other uses of sesame seed, sesame seed oil, and other uses. When you add all that to it, you remember that you have much more than you can imagine. Much more, actually, in terms of the potential of sesame seed, in terms of the potential of sesame seed. So what I've been advocating, I'm saying, is that Nigerian state are billionaires in dollars. Nigerian state have everything it needs to be successful. But Nigerian state have not taken responsibility, advantage of all that it has. Of course, some people will say Nigerian state do not have the money to be able to do some of these things I'm suggesting. And I'm saying Nigerian state does not even need all the money to do it. Nigerian state just need to demonstrate that they are serious. And how do they demonstrate they are serious? Organize your youth into cooperative. Have you organized your youth into cooperative? Provide fund for them. Organize your youth into cooperative. Provide fund for them to be able to farm the sesame seed for you. When they finish farming the sesame seed, before the farm, you already have a special purpose vehicle that you are working with. By special purpose vehicle, I mean the company registered in which the government have a larger stake. And that registered company is the one that will be used to drive this process. Why do we need such a registered company? We need such a registered company because those registered companies are going to be a trading company who is going to aggregate the product from the citizen of the state and the state governor also have to give guarantee to the citizen of the state who will be farming this product and the reason for the guarantee is just to give them assurance that look the state governor will buy this product from them then the special the head of the business being set up can actually look for buyer on behalf of the governor so that when the people finish harvesting, they've been trained, they've been given the right seedling, they harvest, they bring it to a location where the, um, the agent of the government can collect it, put it together and export it. And when the fund comes back into Nigeria, the government take a good chunk of it. The governor also pay, a, pay back the citizens of the state and they take a good chunk of the money to be able to develop. And I'm saying that if the state governor begin to look at this, this is let me see on one hand, ginger, gum arabic, lead or zinc or doing different products by different states before you know it, we are going to contribute significantly as a country to the export of certain commodity in the world. Because currently we have an advantage in the sense that we're already producing, you know. You know what's interesting for me about Nigeria is without much effort, by default, like I often say, we're already doing a lot by default. We're already doing a lot by default. If we are doing a lot by default, what do you think will happen if we begin to do it deliberately, consciously? What do you think will happen if we begin to do it deliberately and consciously? What will happen is that we will, have, we will find it a lot easier to grow. Because now we are doing it deliberately and consciously. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. I dare say that Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. I dare say that Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Nigerian states have not just have someone to be able to help them do what they need to do in terms of government, driving these affairs of the state. Who is your governor? Is your governor complaining that he doesn't have money to spend? Who is your governor? Is your governor complaining that he can't pay salary? Who is your governor? 
if your governor is saying they can't pay salary, can someone please share this this information with the governor to let the governor know that look they can pay salary, to let the governor know that they can't give giving excuses that they cannot pay salary, but that they can pay salary by just finding alternative way of generating income. The governor cannot keep saying they cannot pay salary. Jigawa State is a state that I I saw huge opportunity and the people in impoverished and suffering. I served in Jigawa State and I remember vividly moving from Guaram to Bininkudu, sorry, from Bininkudu to Guaram. There is this market there. That market every day, every Tuesday. You see a lot of people coming. You see a lot of people coming there. You see a lot of people coming there. What are they coming to do? To buy. To buy commodities. Agri commodities. Sesame seed. Agri commodities. Why are they coming to buy commodities? They are coming to buy commodities because they need to export it. Or they are merchants that will take it to Kano. But at that time, I also do not understand. I don't even know what sesame seed is. But what I know is that is a family in that state can produce about 400 bags. That family that produce 400 or 500 bags can only sell about seven, five to seven bags every week. It can only sell about five to seven bags every week because it will travel a very long distance. He will travel a very long distance. He will travel a very, very long distance to get to the market. When he gets to the market, he will sell and then go back. But he can't come back the same day because he won't meet anybody there again. Now, he will do that for about seven months. If he's selling seven bags every week for seven months, 28 times seven, that's about 200 plus. About 200 plus. Do you know how much bag he has? Almost 500. So before you know it, you will be unable to finish selling before the season finish. And most people that come to the village to come and buy are not going to come again. And that way, this particular customer or this particular farmer can be discouraged from farming. Next year, they will go to another one. So everybody keep rushing it and rushing it and rushing it. And that happens every year. But that is not solving the problem. Now, that same state is said to be poor. That same state will said to be not viable. I disagree. I disagree that a state like Jigawa is not viable, that a state like Jigawa is poor. I think a state like, like, uh, like Jigawa is not poor, it's not unviable, it doesn't have bad managers managing the affair of the state. It just have bad managers managing the affair of the state. And that's a big, big, big challenge. Because when the bad manager is at the driver's seat, what that means is that they will not be able to tap into all the potentials available. They will not be able to tap into all the potential available in the state. So that's why I'm saying, can you share this video with your friends and colleagues and people that maybe they get it to your government? For the government knows that the state is billionaires in dollars, but the state have only refused to take advantage of what will make them billionaires in dollars. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Some of the states that have, been, uh, that have the capacity to produce this, like I said earlier, is Benue. Nazarawa, Jikawa, others include Yobe, um, Gombe, Kano, Plato, Kasina, and Kogi State. Sesame City is a widely grown a tropical area and has a range of varieties that is mostly grown in Africa, such as Nigeria. And the number of states, like I said, have and produce it. So I've talked about Benue, I've talked about Nazarawa and Benue, I think it's the different city. And I've touched on a lot of a lot of states in Nigeria. What I want to do tonight is to begin to let us understand a typical uh, example of cost element and how state government can actually make money from this thing. A typical example of cost element and how state government can make money from this. No state in Nigeria is left behind. Every state in Nigeria is viable and have everything it needs to survive. Like I said, what they've not done is take advantage of it. So, for example, the yield per hectare of sesame seed is about 1.5 metric tons. That means 
if he has, if he, if he states a state that have about 700,000 hectares of land, arable land, if that state use just 50% to farm sesame seed at the rate of um, 1.5 metric ton per hectare, that means it can generate about $40 million. Sorry, it can generate about 40 uh, sorry, 540,000 metric tons. 540,000 metric tons. If I sell it at $1,000 per metric ton, that will come to $540 million. Now, this is saying that Nigeria can contribute such a significant amount of sesame seed if you can just focus on planting it very well. Because we have the land to do it. We have the land to do it. We just know political will of the direction we want to go and how we want to do it. But we have the land, we have everything it takes to succeed. There is no reason why Nigerian state cannot succeed. There is no reason why. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Nigerian states have everything it needs to succeed. But Nigerian state has not been able to succeed because Nigerian state depends largely. Largely. Nigerian state depends largely on. Abuja. With 540 million, do you know what this state can do? I'm actually looking at this state right now, but I don't want to start talking about this state because I, I want to follow it sequentially so people will be able to follow me and I might be starting that tomorrow. I might be starting that tomorrow. But let me just run through some states in Nigeria that have um, coming. Some states in Nigeria, okay, that have potential for different products. I'm looking right now at sugarcane production in Nigeria and I see high potential of sugarcane production somewhere in, um, in uh, Jigawa State, Kano State, Kastina State, Kaduna State, Kebi State, Adamawa State, Taraba State. These are major areas where sugarcane can be produced and for export. Look at another, another product like um, soya beans. I've looked at this before. Soya beans. If you go to Benin, 164,000. 164, uh, yeah, 164,000 tons. Benin, 164,000 tons. Um, no, okay, Kaduna, 99,000 tons. I was about saying no state is close to, no state is close to Benue. Every other state, none of them is really doing, I think it's only Benue state that is really, really doing, um, um, what was the name, soya beans in Nigeria. You know, and when you look at the potential, potential, potential of Benue state alone, once you wait for Benue, one should weep for Benue. Sorghum. Sorghum is another very important product, which we don't even export at all. We have the white, we have the yellow. The white can be grown in southwest, south south area. The yellow is mainly in the north. The blue is actually um, um, sorry. I'm using the wrong key, so sorry. I'm looking at the yield, the yield per hectare, so sorry. <laughs> yield per hectare. Um, Kaduna, Play 2, Benue, and FCT have a yield per hectare of 1.5 ton per hectare. 1.5 tons per hectare. Um, states like uh, Kano, Zamfara, Kebi, Adamawa, Taraba, Nazarawa, have a, 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 a 1.1 to 1.5 ton per hectare. That's the yield. When this item is being farmed, that's the yield. But remember what we are trying to do. Just basically looking at, having looked at sesame seed already, basically looking at different states in Nigeria and what they can produce. If you look at rubber, rubber is mainly in the south, south, and south. Mainly south, south, some part of southwest, but mainly south, south. Mainly south, south. And then if you look at, um, Major producer of uh, 
for which one is that? Maze, maze, maze. Major producer in the middle belt, very low in the south, very high in the north. That's why I say Nigerian states, when you look at north, anyway, uh, uh, maybe when I begin to look at the state by state, it will be easier for us to appreciate this. Because me, I don't see any reason why any state in Nigeria should be poor. There is no reason why any state in Nigeria should be poor. There is no reason why any state in Nigeria should be poor. There is no reason why any state in Nigeria should be poor. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Nigerian states have only not realized the potential it has to be able to excel, and they are dependent and rely on stipend from Abuja. Such that at the end of the day, if that money does not come, it becomes very, very difficult for the state to survive. I think there is need for some serious adversity in our country that can reduce income, that will make the state not to have enough. Maybe that will make the state begin to think. I know they will think. I know they will think. I know they will think and find solution to the problem if they are confronted with the problem of providing income for their state. And the only way to do it is for them to generate it themselves. In as much as tax is legal and we focus on tax, but we can do much more than tax. Because tax also is like collecting money from Abuja. Tax is like waiting to collect money from Abuja, waiting for people to donate the money and use it. Why don't you find a way to create it yourself? In as much as you do tax, create it yourself. Create the income yourself. Become self-reliant, self-sustainer, self-everything, so that it becomes easier for you to be able to make desired progress. I'll be rounding off now. Thank you very much for listening again today. I'm hoping that tomorrow I will start state, taking state by state. And as usual, we will start with the very first one, and that should be Abia. <coughs> that should be Abia. And if some state makes me very excited, I might do much more than one session for a state. <laughs> because what I, will be, what I want to do is to analyze the state, look at the landmass of the state, Look at all the product the state can produce. First of all, look at the product the can produce in terms of minerals, in terms of agri product. Look at it and then narrow down on one of them and then drill down on that, analyzing that and looking at how the state can benefit and make money from that particular one. Thank you very much for listening again today. My name is Dila Yimi, but this import export platform, Facebook platform, Trinity Academy. Please remember this video is on our YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like the video like the video share with your friends share with your colleagues share with people that can make this get to the governors that their states are billionaires in dollars that their state does not have any appointment or relationship with poverty potentially but that the state being poor is a, a um, what do you call it now is an aberration is they caused it because of inaction, because of nothing being done. But the, the new governor coming in have the opportunity to change the tide. They have the opportunity to, 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 to make it better. They have the opportunity to ensure that at the end of the day, the states are not impoverished. It's a painful thing that some states are unable to pay salary when they are sitting on gold mine. They are not able to pay salary when they are sitting on huge, huge, huge and humongous opportunity. But for one reason, they've not been able to take advantage of it. Of course, it's been said that maybe they don't have the money, they don't have the means. But like I said, I disagree. I disagree completely that any state in Nigeria does not have what it takes to be able to be what they can be. Every state in Nigeria has what it takes. What has happened is that the states have not just utilized the advantage it has. I've made available different models, which are not entirely new, only that they are, uh, I'm just bringing them to the fore. They are already being used by the federal government in Nigeria, that this will work, and that even if the state governor does not have the money to be able to set this up, to be able to create the microfinance bank, to be able to support these people, to produce for them to export, and give their people a guarantee, let them go and take a bond. That is a better debt. A debt you are investing in your people, you are investing in business, you are investing in getting income, that is a better debt. 
that debt is better than most of the debt that a lot of states are in right now. The debt a lot of states are in right now. Even people that even make that make them to owe that money. <laughs> people that make them to owe that money. Most of them are gone. And those money were really not used for the right infrastructure in the state. And the states are in poverty. Thank you very much for listening. See you tomorrow. Hopefully in the evening, as we start a new series. Still on Nigeria State Abilene in the dollars, but I'll be taking the state one by one now. And I'll be looking at Abia State. Bye for now.